Yo, what's going on guys? So this is a video I'm actually really excited about because um, I think this one's really important for people beginning and ending because not everyone might have this down completely. So this is going to be about how to use your assist Pokemon properly. Before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to El Dorado. He's the one that made the spreadsheet that you guys see here. So it makes it easier for you guys to know which Pokemon you need for a certain assist slot. So the way that assist works every single time you beat a gym, you unlock a gym slot right here. And you're going to be able to put a Pokemon in there and it's going to convert, like it says right here, it's going to convert whatever stat is specific for each gym and it's going to convert it into a gym buff. And the gym buff on the right, it's going to be added to every single Pokemon that you own. For the highest gym possible, you're always going to want the Pokemon with the highest possible stat. For example, for a special attack, I put in a Dark Ride because it has the highest possible special attack for all Pokemon. Um, for defense, I put in a Mega Celix because it has the highest possible defense stat for all Pokemon. You're going to want to do this whenever possible for the last gym. So that way you can maximize how much you get for each uh, gym buff. So I'm going to use Curum here as an example. Um, it has a very, very high base HP stat. You're going to see it has 250. So that's going to determine the max cap for a certain stat. So if I have 250 on him and I have another Pokemon with 200... If I max them both out or I get them both on equal levels, Kyurem is going to end up having a higher HP, so that's what you're going to want to look out for. Breaking a Pokemon also increases its base stats overall. If I go to break, um, every time you break a Pokemon, it raises the base stats, which increases the cap every single time. I broke my Mega Steelix to 3 already, so it's Gen 3, and its base physical defense is now 255. So from being the highest defensive stat at 230, I increased it to 255, which is ridiculous. So the same way I can have a Kyurem with a base of 250 and a VAR Ninetales with a base of 240. But when I break the Ninetales, if I get it to break 3, it's going to have 265 and it's going to have a higher base HP stat than Kyurem. So it's going to be better in the HP slot than Kyurem. Another very important thing when you're getting an assist Pokemon is to make sure they have the right items. So for my Kyurem, I'm only going to want him for my um, HP assist. So I'm only going to want to give it items that help boost its HP. So I'm going to go to held items. So you can see I have the red rarity, the orange, and the purple rarity items for HP. So you're going to want to give them only the items that boost HP. I have other items here, but that was just to open the slots for these. You're only going to want to give them items that help boost the stats. Since they're only for assists, you don't have to focus on anything else. And that's also another good thing about them since they only need one stat when you're focusing on IVs. You don't have to lock any stats. So just refine with one crystal and just keep refining until you get that high stat in only the category that matters. So for mine, it's only HP. I just kept clicking the refine button over and over again until I got a high HP stat and I left it there. So another important thing to do for assist Pokemon is to make sure that they have their base stats maxed out for that category. So if you see here my Dark Ride, it has max special attack right now and every single time that I see a plus one, plus two, or plus three uh, in the Pokemon Center that raises the cap, I make sure that I set the dice so that it lands on it. Another important thing for assist Pokemon is to make sure that they have the right natures. If I'm using VR Electrode and he's fast, I want to make sure that I have him as fast as possible. So I'm going to go to nature and I'm going to make sure that he has a nature that gives it plus speed. It doesn't matter whatever it takes away because you're only using it for assist. So you're going to want to heighten that stat as much as possible. So I gave it um, plus 10% speed. Another important thing that was added to the game recently was the RKS evolution. So after you RKS your main team, you want to start working on your assist Pokemon as soon as possible. Different RKS evolutions give different stat boosts to the Pokemon. So most of the assist Pokemon have good RKS evolutions for assist. So you can see here Mega Steelix. I had access to RKS Soul Silver, and it gave it a 30% increase to physical defense. So that was really good also because it raised the IVs of the Pokemon. So you can, instead of getting 310 as the max, it was possible to get up to 510. So it makes it easier when you refine IVs and it gets a very, very high um, physical defense stat. If you can't star up all your Pokemon as much as possible because it's hard to get red crystals and blue crystals or you just don't have the resources for it, making sure that you do these little things for the gym Pokemon in the assist is a very good way to get power for your Pokemon. Um, you can see here in the gym buff, most of the Pokemon that I have get their power that they get from this gym buff. This is the reason why I have a 
almost 1 million power beldum at level 1 with 124 IVs because most of the power comes from the assist Pokemon. They're all going to have a very, very high um, beginning because of all the stats that are given to them. So make sure you guys get all these things done for the assist Pokemon. And it's going to be a very, very big difference in battle. You're going to instantly see the difference. So thank you guys again for making it to the end of the video. If you guys like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and comment. Any more suggestions on the next video, I'd really appreciate it. We are almost at 200 subscribers and I will be able to give away the next lifetime cards. Make sure when you subscribe, you have your subscriptions turned on to public so that way I can see my subscribers and your name will be put into the raffle. Until next time guys, peace.